think it's time I get a new uh, little pop filter, windscreen filter, whatever you want to call this thing. It is covered in so much stuff I can't even talk about right now. Like, what is all that? That's just disgusting. What's up, guys? How are you? My name is David Franco, and welcome back to my gaming channel. Guess what I'm going to play today? Uh, yep, you guessed it. Another horror game. Guys, I love horror. This one is called Locked Up, and it cost me $13. $13. Yeah, that's not a ton of money. But uh, yeah, I checked out his game on Hollow's channel. Dude, I owe most of my horror playing to Hollow. He's such a cool dude. He finds these games. I don't know how he finds them all. Anyway, I watched his video. It was like 20, 25 minutes long. So yeah, I mean like $13 for a 20, 25 minute game. It's not the best deal, but you know what? I bought this for you guys because I love playing horror. All right, so again, it's called Locked Up. It came out on April 24th. 2020 and it says his game takes place in a house where terrible events occurred earlier you will have to repeatedly wander along the same corridor in order to uncover the causes of insanity and understand who you are so in other words it's kind of like pt you know i think a lot of these games are copying pt and guys i am perfectly okay with that because i'll say it again pt in my opinion is one of the best horror video game experiences of all time. So let's see how this is. Is it worth the $13? And by the way, this is developed by Amika Games, which is the same developer from past games I've played on this channel. So I guess that's a good thing. Lights off. And enjoy. Let's go for that English. American English. I don't know how loud this game is. I guess we'll find out. Oh my god. What a beautiful menu. Look at this, what a beautiful freaking menu system. I'm already so impressed. I saw this on YouTube, but to see it in person myself, wow. Love it, love it, love it. So June 10th, 1987, I was like two years old, okay? Settings, audio, obviously keep that max. So we're gonna go with full screen, FPS, unlimited. V-Sync, off. Let's make everything on ultra. Key bindings. We'll, we'll figure out everything over time. Controls. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to knock this down because for whatever reason, a lot of these games are always so freaking sensitive. Okay, make sure that's saved. Yeah, we're good. And uh, here we go, guys. God, I hope it's good. Cause the last horror game, guys, I'm so sorry. It sucked. Like, it sucked. <sighs> it's giving me subtitles for something I can clearly read, but that's okay. So basically, we're in a closed space where you have to interact with surrounding objects in order to move along the plots. It's pretty much the same in all these games. What really matters to me most are the jump scares, so please give me some good jump scares, baby, because the last game did not make me jump at all. Enjoy, guys. Brought to you by Rudder's Coffee. Okay, so we have that famous mouse delay. I don't know why. That's just a common thing in these games. Martha Foster, last seen Thursday, April 12th, 1979. Call Center Police Department, blah, blah, blah. Six years old. Height, 35. Weight, 50 pounds. Eyes, blue. So we have a missing child. The game is set in 1980 right now. And she's been missing since 1979. Very interesting. Might be a picture of a house. Alright, let's go, guys. I'm hyped. I don't think I can run. Oh. Better get a flashlight before I leave. Extremely small subtitles. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's literally right there. I am blind, guys. So sorry. I kind of hope the whole game isn't like this VCR effect because it looks cool. But yeah, we don't need the whole game to look like this. Guys, there's definitely two bodies hanging from the trees. You see that? And there's somebody in the doorway. Man, they, they just... <laughs> 
We're, we're, we're just jumping right into this, huh? Dude. <laughs> I got goosebumps already. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, baby. I'm all in. I'm all in. I like this. I'm liking it. We got some toys on the steps. Is this some kind of final supper? Okay, so control is crouch. Oh, here we go. Mom and Martha. That was not me walking. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what is this? This is going to happen to you. Who that? Jesus. There's a lot of people outside waiting for me. Like, a lot. Why is it chair? <laughs> Okay. 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 I'm liking the vibe. 17 years? Jesus Christmas. That's a long time. 17 years. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, here we go, guys. This is more like it. That was cool, but I prefer the non-VCR effect, you know? I like the tight hallways, tight corridors, all that good stuff. Something unlocked. Well, there you go. What does that mean? Shit. Okay, controls. Okay. Dude, where's all this shit coming from? Exactly. Exactly what I'm saying. What the? Found a box from the previous owners. August 28th, 1997. Love this kind of stuff. What the? What 
is that? Oh, okay. So you have to focus look with your middle mouse button on the uh, wheel. So right here where it says focus look or E. So you got to zoom in in a way on certain objects to trigger events. Okay, okay. Frank Alice Mary, April 9th, 1992. They look like Sims. 2.25 in the morning. That's new. Can't do anything with it. What the? Okay. Deep psychology. Hmm. I wonder who these people really are. Dude, look at that depth of field. Didn't I say the same thing about another game? Was it Dark Hotel? One of them had really, really nice depth of field. Searches for cult members are underway. Dude, I definitely had cult vibes back there with the big old uh, dinner tables or whatever you want to call them. So this is most likely cult related. Can I get out of here, please? I just want to explore. What's this? Mary didn't want to leave her house. February 28th, 1993. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so I don't get to use the gun. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Guns are dangerous any anyway, so I'll leave it. Oh my god, what? Dude, shit just keeps appearing. This is kind of cool, though. I'm getting, like, total mystery vibes. I just hope the whole game doesn't take place in this little room, you know? Because if that's the case, then I'm going to return this game, guys. Like, $13 can be used on other games. So we got some pills, some kind of medication, sedatives. That up. This one? So the game is taking place in one tiny room. I thought it was going to be like PT where I'm walking through hallways and bedrooms and whatever, you know? The beginning was pretty creepy, but now I'm just kind of annoyed. Damn. 
such potential. Thank God. Get me out of here, dude. I just want to explore, dude, you know? I want freedom. Where's the flashlight? What? <sighs> in theory, I got oh, in theory, I, I just got to try every single door until something happens. One quick thing to say, developers, listen. If you want to keep the player, me in this case, 
intrigued, interested, curious. Don't have me go back and forth up and down the same hallway. Have me go through the door like in PT, then throw me back into the same hallway from the opposite end. So I don't have to keep turning around like this, back and forth. Basically, I just want to keep going on a straight line. In my opinion, that's the better approach. Just my opinion. Just my opinion, that's all. I ain't hating. But I did pay $13, and I'm probably going to return this game. I just am not impressed. If I pay 2 or $3, sure, who cares? But $13? You can buy some good shit with $13 on Steam. Get out. so loud. Okay, the hallway's expanding. It's about time. Why did I spend $13 on this? I'm, I'm not trying to sound negative, believe me, I love horror games, I love supporting indie developers, but you guys, you guys agree with me? $13 is, is, uh, is a lot to ask for such a, a shallow feeling horror game. I mean, I had more fun with some free games, like Dark Hotel. Wasn't that free? Or is it like a dollar? I don't know. I'm still, I'm still gonna upload this for you though, you know? I do this for you guys. Maybe I can save you money. Key to the door. Okay, so let's unlock something. Very abrupt loading screen. I feel like it's not needed. Kind of takes me out of the experience, you know? Like, why Why did we have to load there? I don't agree with that. And wh why is the flashlight... Okay, so the flashlight's not going to work all of a sudden. There's no explanation of why. That's okay. Okay, we'll go with it. Oh my god, that's a battery. Didn't even realize. Okay, so the battery's got to put it be, be put in the uh, flashlight. Okay. It's kind of nice to be back in this mode again. Keep it feeling different. New hallway. Suitcase. 
Oh shit, okay, okay. Key to the drawer. So go to the clock. Hmm. Turn on the camera. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. You actually move your mouse to shake the camera. That's neat. I like that. What? I'm busy. Guys, to give you an idea of where I am in the game right now, I've been playing for 42 minutes. This video is gonna be so much shorter for you guys, don't worry. I'm doing this for you. Yeah, the door is definitely by itself. So, okay, yeah, yeah, this one, from, but, but from this angle. Like this. Yep. Did you see that? And see, that's really cool. I wish they would do more with that. I feel like the camera has a lot of potential. Like Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame scared the crap out of me as a kid. It was terrifying. Yeah, do it further. Do it closer. What the fuck? So from way back there. A little picky. So that one light's gotta be in frame. I respect it. I respect the guys, I do. There you go. No! I did it! No! 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 I hear one more door knock. I'm gonna lose it. Jesus, I didn't expect it to open. One picture was down in the other picture. Maybe right here? Oh wait, yeah, you gotta tilt it. 
get the key, then take a picture. Maybe not, okay. I didn't even see what the key was to. Oh, there we go. Let's take a picture of this. I'm getting a workout at least. Hold on, I gotta take a picture. Maybe not. Come on, take the fuck on! <laughs> Is it this drawer again? Oh my god, we actually got an animation. It's pretty good. There we go. Key to the door. Pokemon Snap. That could have been so much better. What? Okay. 
Hopefully we're near the end of this because I am so ready to check out mentally. I am done. Too much of the same BS over and over again. This game had such potential. Such potential. Oh my god, thank you, okay. Hoping it would be over. <laughs> uh, that looks like a penis. Hate you. Okay. Follow me. You're gonna hate me. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Kill me. See what I do. <laughs> oh my god, we have a new room. It's a miracle. We gotta cut off her eyes a little bit. They're a little picky about the uh, placement, which is fine. Yep. I saw it. It's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty cool. My favorite part about the game. Wait, hold on, another picture. I gotta take a picture over here. Come on, take the picture. Okay, so I'm getting a uh, Resident Evil 7 vibes with the whole VHS thing. Putting tapes in. I like that. I like it. There's like an invisible wall there. me a little bit. It scared me a little bit. Just a little bit. Tell no one.
And now we're back outside. 1987. Interesting, okay. This is comforting. At this point, it's so amazing to be outside. So amazing. There's another car over there. See, that stuff freaks me out. Okay, it's cold time. Okay, so we have a lighter now. Another tape. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I just didn't expect it to be such a shallow game, you know? Okay, I lost my light. Wait, here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I locked the room with a key because I hear there is someone walking and whispering. I cannot be here and work. I am trapped. I'm being followed. They don't like that I touch their stuff. Anyone who finds my letter, get out of here. You are not alone. Where's the key? What's up?
the room right next door. Something's happening. I need to finish packing up. Oh my god. Really? That's funny. Is that everything? Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta pack this shit now. Maybe. Okay, never mind. I'm turning the damn TV on. It's the same sound effect every time. You notice that? I just clean this shit up. Okay. Okay. Something you don't see every day. I'm writing this letter in the hope that someone will find it. I have come on behalf of the social service to collect things, but the evil that lives here does not allow me to do so. I feel like I've been here for a week, but the video camera is still working. I've lost track of time, and I'm going around in circles. I was locked up here. Game's a little longer than I thought I was. Got the flashlight back. <laughs> I just want it to be over. Please. It's not a horrible game, by the way, you know? It's not. I mean, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea from me. I can I can tell they put a lot of time and a lot of work into this game, you know? It's just, it's... I, I feel like there should be more depth. That's all. I don't think there's a lot going on. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So many loading screens. Can't fit. Need a book. Okay, so I guess I gotta put a book there and it acts as a switch. Alright, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense, but it's whatever. They keep using the same sound effect. With the, with the running? I gotta edit all this tomorrow. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Didn't even see it. Okay, that got me a little bit. Well done. Yeah. 
And here we go. Oh my god, another one? By the way, I'm purposely not not uh, giving you guys a lot of commentary. So I'm not trying to make it boring. I'm just trying to make you guys enjoy the horror with me. Because if I'm talking too much, I think that's a little, little distracting, you know? But I promise, my other videos will be more commentary filled. Just with horror. With, with, with me, it's all about the experience. Even though this game's not that good in my opinion. But still, I like the... Be quiet whenever possible. Okay. Wait, did that just open? Oh, that just opened. Okay. Take the key. Take the key. I'm liking this music a lot. Very nice, beautiful music. Absolutely beautiful. Then it's interrupted with a loading screen. My god. Yo. This game's blowing my mind right now. This is by far my favorite part of the game. Because of the music. That's pretty bad, guys. This music is incredible. I love it. Help me finish where you started.
Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't reading all that. Hell no. Not moving, so I think it's. Oh, thank, oh, thank God, oh, thank God, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, probably just woke up the cats. Total cringe, mother guys. Apologies, yeah, okay, so not a horrible game, just it was boring. You know, it was boring. I'm sorry, like if you made this game, I have some critical, honest feedback for you. First of all, the scenario, the VCR going back and forth between tapes and real life, that's fine. I like that. Total Resident Evil 7 vibes. Total RE7 vibes. But the fact that you kept throwing horror in my face, like literally like every 10 seconds, it makes the jump scares less and less special you know if you want a good jump scare first of all shorten the game a bit and make the jump scares every like 10 or 20 minutes apart make them less expected you know ah <sighs> that's my feedback you know the game was way way too repetitive way too many jump scares keep it simple you know keep it simple stupid I'm not calling you stupid just saying, give us gamers like me what we want, something to enjoy, something to remember, you know, something to remember. PT is a game I will never forget because that game was damn special to me. It was horrifying because they did it right. But hey, you know what? I've played far worse. The game's not bad. It's just boring. You know? Boring to me doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's just a very slow game. Very, very slow. And I was losing a lot of interest. So with that said, guys, if you want to buy it, honestly, $13. I don't think it's worth $13. I'd give this game maybe $5. $8 max. But $13, skip it for $13. Just wait until it's on sale. But you know what? Regardless, it's linked right below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Peace.